All right then, yo. I I'm excited. I'm excited for a couple of videos in a row of 21 Pilots Live, especially their older work, so roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. Now, I got more than a couple of requests for 21 Pilots, especially being that they haven't been on the channel in some time. And I'm excited about the request because they all, they all seem to be older 21 Pilots work. So I get to see, it's like a blast from the past. Like I get to see everything that I've been missing that other people knew like th about the potential of the band and I'm going back and 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 listening to that after I realize who they are at like a global scale and we started this whole thing off with drown which is just Tyler Joseph by himself if I'm not mistaken and and I'm excited that we're going into live performances of 21 pilots of these tracks and this one right here is UG studios addict with a pen by 21 pilots and this one comes from Michael Weber Michael I appreciate your patreon subscription man that allowed you to get a request in I appreciate you requesting live music because I get to experience Experience, you know, everybody says that they're so much better live, even though they're amazing on record. So I'm glad that I kind of get to experience that. Now, if you didn't watch my drown video, my one key takeaway from the at the very end of the track was that it sounded like something was missing, and that something is is, is Josh. Like it, it sounded like Tyler is good, but the X factor that makes 21 Pilots 21 Pilots is their relationship whenever it comes to their musicianship. Josh on the drums just adds a whole nother level of dimension to Tyler's writing, and that's what makes them excel. So I'm excited to to come off of that drown song and then now we're going to a live performance of 21 pilots of an older track but yo that's really all that i gotta say because i'm hype follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below and we got addict with a pen by 21 pilots ug studio session from 2011 so a while back let's get it I will know I will say that I noticed that about his voice especially in the older music he has like he throws on like I don't know if he throws on that accent or, or if there's why 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 he sounds in the way that he does but that's definitely something that's like a staple of older 21 pilots music in quite some time I know I haven't been the best of suns hello i'm traveling in the desert of my mind and Oof. i haven't found a drop that was a dope line though he said i've been traveling in the deserts of my mind fire because it because it's like a it's like a very dangerous landscape up in here which is just which is like what a desert is most people can't survive in a desert a drop of life I haven't found a drop of you I haven't found a drop I just realized he's saying drop for some reason I heard job and, and so I assume that now he said father so he, I thought he was talking about his father but now I'm assuming since like in drown he was very they're very religious based that like they're very they have religion at the core of who they are so he's like, I've been traveling through the desert in my mind and I haven't found a drop of you. Damn, that's that's heavy, dog. I haven't heard this song before, by the way. I haven't heard the I haven't heard the actual uh, studio version. I'm going to have to do a breakdown of the studio version because this is crazy already. I haven't found a drop. I haven't found a drop. Listen to that pain in his voice. Of water. And then I haven't found a drop of water, which is like, again, like holy water, like cleansing his soul, like like we had in the song Drown. Dog. It's just coincidence that I did these two tracks back to back, but still. Of water. Is that the shirt? Because I know in, in the level of concern video, like they were wearing older shirts. Nah, 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 it's not that shirt. It's not that shirt. I lied. 
If I say, is it the shirt and, and the vessels cover that they were wearing on the in the music video? See, this is what I was talking about in the drown video. Like, like I knew that that Josh coming in on the drums, I knew that Josh coming in on the drums was gonna add like that extra level to make it sound like 21 Pilots. And it does add like that extra level of like, of layering of, of like musical dynamic range to where it sounds a little more interesting to listen to, you know? I try desperately to run through the sand as I, I hold the water in the palm of my hand. Cause it's all that I have and it's all that I need. The water mean nothing to me, but I, I try my best and all that I can to hold tightly onto what's left in my hand. But no matter how, how tightly I will strain, the sand will slow me down and the water will drain. Being dramatic. No matter how, like, uh, the water will drain and the sand will, and the sand will slowly take over. The, bro, that's crazy. The sand will slow me down and the water will drain. Like no matter how much, like like my, inside of my mind, like my mind takes control. No matter how much I want to put that burden of my mind on you, my mind will always win. At least that's the way it's been. The sand will always slow me down and the water eventually will drain out. It's dope lyricism, bro. The sand will slow me down and the water will drain. I'm just being dramatic in fact, I'm only at it again. As an addict with a pen who's addicted to the wind as it blows me back Ooh. and forth. Bro, that whole scheme right there, and the whole delivery, it's just like so unique. And he's like rapping, but I wouldn't even consider it rap, you know? Like, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm only at it again as an addict with a pen who's addicted to the wind. Bro, like his, his delivery is so strange, but it's so unique and it's so him. Blows me back and forth, mindless, mindless, and pretend. Of course, I'll be here again, see you tomorrow, but it's the end of today. Again, like wash me with your water and then in the song drown like like he was the same sentiment like like let me drown in your water dog and water is obviously very symbolic and religion of being like cleansed and being cleaned that's why there's holy waters he's saying like wash me with your water my trial was vile as a crazy suicidal head case I walk in denial bro dope so wash me with your water That, that's such a hard note to hit, like be way up there. And it's easy for like wah, cause it's like you're opening your mouth, but water, like the er sound and then the o sound to still maintain that note. His voice is so clean. And even here, it sounds like it's nowhere near as polished. Like he doesn't have as much, he doesn't have as much range, not range. He doesn't have as much rain over his vocals. Like he doesn't have as much control over them. He doesn't know exactly where his vocals register, not where it lies, but where he can push it and where he can like manipulate his voice, but he still, Still sounds better right here than a lot of singers. Hello. We haven't talked in quite some time. I know I haven't been the best. See, and I'm assuming he's he's talking to God. Like, I know we haven't talked in quite some time and I know I haven't been the best, but I'm coming to you to like cleanse me of my sins with your water, you know? Or even if it's not cleanse me of your sins, just l unleash me from these burdens with your with your power. It's like Kanye said, I haven't talked to God, but I'm afraid because we ain't spoken so long. Been the best. Oh, son, so no, I'm traveling in the desert of my mind. Bro, that line.
line still gets me. Still gets me. I've heard the song like I'm halfway, not halfway, I'm a little more than halfway through, but this is my first time hearing this song. I make it sound like it still gets me 10 years later. Yo, I, I've been I've been lost in the desert of my mind and I haven't found a drop of life for you. And that note when he says I haven't found a drop and it sounds like he's like straining his voice, like it sounds like he's crying, but he's hitting that note at the same time, like like he's tired. I'm tired of walking through this desert of my mind and there's nothing to relieve me. There's there's no water, there's not a drop of you to relieve me from the thoughts that I have within this desert of my mind. Crazy. Found the job. Woo. So I'm saying, bro, just Josh's percussion, Josh's drums, like like what he adds to the track. It's very rare that a drummer like has a certain sound. Like you can pick out that that's that drummer. I feel like that with Josh. I feel like that with like Travis Barker, obviously. I feel like that with Incubus's drummer. There's a couple of drummers out there where I'm like, damn, this he he has his own signature sound that he brings to the song that makes it pop. And that's what that's what I'm getting right here. Hold up, we gotta hear that again. Hi, dog. Bro, fire. Damn, man, I've been missing out for go uh, uh, nine years, going on 10 years, I've been missing out. Obviously, I'm mad impressed. Obviously, the lyrics are like just the symbolism within the lyrics and what he's talking about, like the desert in my mind, added with a pen, the water, you know, like saying like, cleanse me, like drown me in your water. The lyrics are so dope, especially coming off of the song Drown, which has very similar sentiment. But this song I like more because once again, like Josh's, Josh's drumming adds that 21 pipe pilots feel to it. Man, I have been missing some 21 pilots in my life. It's been a minute since I even listened to them, much less did a did a video on them. So Michael, yo, appreciate the appreciate this request, my guy. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, consider subscribing. These long form breakdowns and thoughts and feedback, that's how I do it around here. So if that's your thing, hit the subscribe button. If anybody out there wants to get a request in or support the channel in a monetary way, if you have that capability and you get enough out of the channel to support me, YouTube is what I do full time because of Patreon, because people have supported on Patreon. They allow me to put out these videos consistently when I was like, I was literally threatened to have to delete the channel patreon swooped in and said nah you're not going nowhere so if you want to like if you want to add to that if you want to feel like you're a part of the channel but you're also pushing the channel forward at the same time patreon is definitely going to be the best place to do that Follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter, and on Discord. All three linked down in the description below. Instagram and Twitter are my daily thoughts, you know, in my life. Discord, if you want to talk to me, that's the best place to do it. All these links are down in the description. But that's all that I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.